Hello everyone, my name is Pietro Giovaro and today I'm going to show you how to create this building using Blender 2.79 and Substance Painter. For the creation of this structure, I started using the default cube and through a scaling and extruding process, I defined the main shape of the building. In this process, I created the materials for the walls of the structure and for the roof. The last one was assigned to the top faces of the building. Then I selected and duplicated by pressing Shift D the top faces of the left side of the structure in order to create the base for the future window. I placed this element inside the roof and I extruded the surface along the X axis. At this point, I divided the roof from the main structure, selecting the relative faces and pressing Shift D. Then I extruded and scaled the roof along the UI axis, and I repeat the same thing for the roof placed at the center. Moreover, I changed the base of the building, so I selected all the bottom faces and I scaled up the surface. After that, I deleted all the faces covered and not visible. That's an important process, especially if you are going to create models for games, since it decreases the number of polygons. Later, by pressing Ctrl R, I subdivided the mesh in order to define the position windows and door of the building. I did the same thing for the left side of the structure, where I decided to create a window for the ground floor and another one for the attic. Moreover, I started the creation of the stairs, so I selected and duplicated the plane from the structure and I placed it under the door. Here I extruded and divided the model until I was satisfied with the result. At this point I created a cube by pressing Shift A and assigned a new material that I called wood. Here I started to manipulate and scale the mesh in order to create the beams of the structure. For this step, it's important to use some references in order to understand the right place where to locate these elements. In general, I place the beams along the corners of the structure and close to the windows. Finished the previous step, I started the creation of the tiles of the roof. So I add a new cube and I create a rectangle. Then I created the materials of the mesh and I used the, the array modifier in order to create the tiles along the X axis. Go into edit mode and increase the rotation of the tiles in order to fit the inclination of the roof. Then I upload the modifier and I repeat the previous step along the UI axis. 
I repeated the previous process for the other side of the roof. Then I just apply the modifier and going to edit mode, I changed the location along the UI axis of some tiles of the roof in order to create some imperfections. Then I just deleted all the other tiles that are covered. Afterwards, I started the creation of the door of the building and the frames of the windows. For the door, I used a simple cube that I scaled in edit mode, while for the frames of the windows, I used one of the beams that I created in the previous process. Here, I just try to fit the furrows of the building. This step also created some imperfections for the walls of the building, for the stairs and for the frame of the windows. Then, thanks to my dear cube, I created some supports for the first floor. Thereafter, I started the wrapping process. So I selected all the parts of the building concerning a material and I created a Smart V project. Here I set a value greater than zero for the island margin. In this way I avoided an overlapping issue during the baking process in Substance Painter. Once there are finished the wrapping process for the other materials, I exported the building using the FBX format. Then I imported the building in Substance Painter. Here I go to Texture Set Settings and started the baking process. Then I used uh, some smart material defaults and the other one that I created in previous project in order to give color to the building. Here, painting and using some brushes and mask, I created the material texture for the door. Once you are finished with the creation of the material of the door, I devote to myself to give some uh, details to the walls of the structure, 
creating also some bricks and uh, to the supports of the first floor. When I was satisfied with the final result, I exported all the texture to Blender. In this process, I increased the resolution of the texture. Once in Blender, I started the creation of the materials of the building. For this project, I create a simple material composed by the principal base shader, the vector normal map, and four image texture, where three of it have non-color data properties. For the glass of the windows, I create a simple material using the glass shader and a texture with some noises, linked to the roughness input of the shader. At the end, I placed a point light inside the building. I selected an environment texture and I add some little details like ivy in the walls and some barrels. The last step of this project was the rendering process. Here I set a value of 2K for the resolution and 300 samples. For the post process I did the color correction. And that's all. Even if that's my first video showing you a full process, I hope you like it. If so, leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Of course, if you have any advices, write a comment below. And thank you so much for watching. See you soon.